Yo, what's up guys? It's Anthony from LIKBF. Alright, so I just wanted to make a quick video to wish all my fellow kayak anglers out there a safe and happy new year. And also I wanted to reveal the new kayak I'm going to be fishing at her for 2019. Uh, but before we jump into that, I just wanted to take a quick minute uh, to go over some of the other kayaks I had and uh, why I chose them and then why I chose uh, to fish out of this kayak for 2019. Alright, so let's jump into it. Alright guys, so the first kayak I really had was the Ride 115X, which was an awesome kayak made by Wilderness Systems. Um, it was my first kayak that I was able to stand up in. I had a great fishing season out of that kayak. I actually uh, fished the KBF National Championship in 2017 out of that yak. The um, reason I sold it is because I upgraded. I got an opportunity to get into the Attack 120, um, which was an, another awesome boat. I mean, probably uh, my favorite boat uh, to date. Um, what I loved about that boat is how low and wide it was and how stable it was. Uh, very good in rough water. Um, it's just one of the best kayaks ever made. I loved it. And then I got my hands on the Bonafide SS107 uh, when it first came out last year. And uh, I really loved that boat. Um, it was a great boat. I got it from my wife. I ended up fishing out of it more than she did. <laughs> but um, yeah, it, it was, it's a great boat. It was only 10 foot long. But uh, for a 10 foot boat, I mean, the amount of detail put into this thing is, is ridiculous. Um, so uh, yeah, I ended up having uh, moving into a new house. So I had to make room in the garage. So um, I sold the SS-107. And when I sold it, I was kind of heartbroken about it because I really liked the boat. And then an opportunity came along where somebody wanted to buy my Attack 120. So I figured, you know what? I got the money from both kayaks. Um, let me try fishing out of something new for 2019. So I sold the Attack and then I put some thought into it. And uh, I ended up getting this bad boy. Um, since I love the SS-107 so much, I went with the Bonafide SS-127. I just love all the little details that are put into this boat. Um, I'm not going to bore you guys going, you know, through the boat, doing a walkthrough because I'm sure, you know, anybody who's interested in this boat has seen a million walkthroughs. But I'm going to go through some of the things that kind of, you know, sold me on the boat and kind of made me switch from the Attack 120. Um, one thing I, is the hull. Um, I love the Attack 120, but uh, the Attack 120 sits so low in the water, uh, the boat gets very wet. And up here in the north, I mean, I've had some cold days with some wet feet um, when, when we get into the fall or early spring. So, um, it just it, that boat take, took on a lot of water for me. I'm a big guy, I guess. So, a lot of water came up through the scuppers. I had to uh, plug the scuppers every time I used it. Uh, with this boat, I don't have to plug the scuppers. With the um, 107, I was able to sit in it no problem with no water coming up uh, through the scuppers. Um, another reason I like this boat is the power pole mounts on the center. One thing I hated about the Attack 120 is the power pole mounted off to one side. And uh, on some windy days when I stopped paddling, um, that power pole, that weight of that power pole would kick that, the end out and uh, you know, I'd, be, I'd be swerving all over the place. So I didn't have a rudder on the boat, maybe that would have made a difference, but um, yeah, I, I just love how this is center mounted. I think it's going to you know, make all the difference in the world. Um, I love the high seat. I mean, the Attack 120 had a pretty high C2, but, but nothing compared to the Bonafide. Uh, here in Long Island, a lot of our lakes are very shallow, and, and uh, you know, you, do, you can do some sight fishing, um, and being able to sit up higher, you know, in the water just gives you that much more of an advantage. And uh, being able to fit the junk drawer under the seat is awesome, too, because in my Attack, everything in my black pack wound up under my seat by the end of the day anyway. I guess it's just how I fish, so... Um, by having the, um, which we'll call it, the junk drawer, I'm just going to put my stuff in there to begin with, and I can slide that out. Um, I keep it simple when I fish. I, I don't really use a lot of gear anyway, so I could fit almost all of my Plano boxes underneath my seat with no problems. I already mounted up my flex pod, so that wasn't an issue. I had no problem doing that. I had a, a mighty mount sitting around that I threw on there real quick, and then I ran, uh, you know, ran the wires out using the Hobie three-way um, wiring kit. I, so I got two wires coming out of here. These, one, each one of these is connected to a knocker battery, a 10 amp hour battery. It lasts me about six hours on the water to power my HCS7 Gen 3 uh, with side imaging. 
So I got both of those coming out of one of the holes. I got uh, the transducer wire that hooks to the unit coming out of the other hole. And then out of the third hole, I have uh, ran for my um, transducer arm. So it tucks in here nice and neat and, and hangs over the side. So, And then uh, just all the little details in this boat, once you finally fish out of it, I mean the way that the rods lay inside the um, junk drawer and then how everything lines up here on the front hatch and then the rods kind of just lay in between here. I lay a lot of my rods down when I'm fishing because I don't like reaching behind me. So um, this boat just suits me very well, uh, the way it's laid out. Um, I'm sure, you know, the thought that was put into it, it suits a lot of others as well, but um, that's the main reason why I chose this boat for 2019, so. All right, guys, so that about wraps up the video. I just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you guys the new Yak. And uh, again, Happy New Year to all you guys. Um, I'm going to post another video in about a week or so. We have a LIKBF board meeting uh, this Thursday coming up, and we got some big plans for the club for 2019. Uh, we definitely plan on growing our YouTube channel. So if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button. Uh, we appreciate any support we get, and I uh, look forward to some content coming from all the anglers in the club. And uh, yeah, we'll check in with you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, once again, Happy New Year.